Welcome back, my friend. It's always good to see you. Please join me, grab a drink, and let me tell you the tale of Genie, the Bogle of Mulgrave Wood. In the ancient tale I shall now recount, we find ourselves immersed in the intriguing world of Genie, a peculiar creature dwelling within the depths of a cavern known as Hobbs Cave. This mystical enclave was nestled snugly in the heart of a small valley bearing the name of Biggersdale, residing quietly amidst the Molgrave woods near the hamlet of Sands End, near Whitby, Yorkshire. Genie, the subject of local folklore, was often referred to as a fairy possessing an infamously ill-tempered disposition. Considering the appellation bestowed upon her abode and her vehement aversion to any form of disturbance, one might surmise that she bore closer resemblance to a hob or even a witch. The hardships endured by neighbouring farmers were conveniently attributed to Genie, thus justifying her longing for a reclusive existence. The residents of the area, cognizant of the dire consequences that would surely befall them, wisely chose to leave Jeannie undisturbed within her solitary domain. However, fate would soon intercede when a young lad by the name of John Rowe, driven by a fanciful belief that Jeannie was not merely a malevolent being, but rather a beautiful fairy in need of love and companionship to mend her acrimonious nature, embarked on a quest to locate her one evening. Following a day's toil on the farm, John mounted his steed and set forth into the depths of Mulgrave Woods, his determination unwavering. The precise whereabouts of Jeannie's abode remained a mystery, prompting John to traverse a dense woodland in search of her sanctuary. Not far from the decaying ruins of an ancient castle, he stumbled upon the narrow gorge that bore the name of Biggersdale. Dismounting from his trusty steed, he cautiously began scrambling along the treacherous path it carved. After a time, his tenacity bore fruit, as he chanced upon a sizeable cave, its entrance adorned with remnants of a fire and other tell-tale signs of habitation. Drawing closer to the cavern's mouth, John suddenly found himself confronted by a hairy and formidable figure brandishing a lengthy wand. This fearsome creature emitted an ear-piercing shriek as it bolted forth from the depths of the cave, leaving John paralysed with terror. In an instinctual surge of adrenaline, he turned and fled for his life, with Genie in swift pursuit. John raced through the verdant woodland, Genie steadily closed the distance between them. In this dire moment, a fragment of wisdom imparted by his grandmother surfaced in his mind, a notion that malevolent spirits could not traverse swiftly flowing water. With this glimmer of hope, John steered his course towards a low cliff positioned perfectly for his horse to make a daring leap across a ravine known as Mickleby Beck, thus securing their safety. Approaching the beck's edge, Jeannie loomed ever closer, clawing and scratching at the steed's hindquarters, desperately attempting to unseat John from his mount. Undeterred, John urged his steed forward, and in their audacious leap across the ravine, Jeannie struck the horse with her wand, snuffing out its life in an instant. The lifeless creature tumbled into the beck's depths, while John was propelled onto the safety of the opposite bank. Collecting himself, John surveyed his surroundings, witnessing Jeannie's vengeful shrieks emanating from the far side of the beck. Overwhelmed with a mixture of exhaustion and distress, he mustered the remaining strength within him and fled, hastening towards a comforting embrace of his humble farmstead. Breathless and deeply traumatised, he found himself incapable of recounting his harrowing experience until the following day. Since that fateful encounter, no soul has dared to venture forth in search of Jeannie or her enigmatic cavern concealed within the depths of Mulgrave Woods. And there ends my tale. I hope you found it entertaining, and if you did, 
please subscribe, like, and maybe leave a comment down below. I thank you for your company, my friend, and look forward to sitting with you again very soon.